have a quick update on the Proton Pack. Uh, latest change uh, comes to the Cyclotron lid. There's some folks who have asked about, can you change the colors inside the lid so that they match the mode of the wand when you're using the video game mode? So when you go into slime mode, etc., can you make these change colors? The short answer is no, not out of the box. The LEDs that come with the HasLab equipment, it's just three pixels per uh, window, per viewport, and they are red only. Uh, they are not, they are addressable, so uh, each one can be turned on and off, but that's about it. Uh, you're stuck with the color that you get. Now, what I've done uh, with my uh, Cyclotron is I put in a 40 pixel LED ring, and Michael Rajat uh, has modified the software to allow that ring to work as you would expect. So. Let me just cut this on. This is an afterlife mode. You can see the pattern is chasing. Uh, he's adjusted the software to use 40 pixels instead of the standard 12 that are in the lid. So four viewports, three pixels each. You do the math. Um, so with the 40 pixels, we actually have a bit more granularity, uh, namely, the pixels stretch all the way across, uh, 40 fits perfectly. There's one dead center of each one of these lenses. There are three completely visible, 100% uh, visible, just like the stock. But if you look carefully, there's actually a pixel just on the edge of each one of these. So you get a little bit more of the chase effect because you can see the light coming into and then leaving each one of the lenses. And as expected, when you switch modes, so we go to slime mode, the light changes colors. So we go to green, blue for stasis, amber or yellow for the Mason blast. And those colors, as you can see, these are still the stock red lenses. So there's still that red look, but that's just on the surface. When the lights are actually chasing, they really do change. You can tell that's blue, that's green, that's amber. So it becomes very obvious, and that was one thing that I wanted answered was, if the, um, if the colors were changed behind the lenses, do you need to replace the lenses? And the short answer is no, you don't. So I've got the stock lenses. The only thing that's not stock is in order to, in order to make this work, the pixel, is in, the pixel ring is installed between the outer shell and the inner shell of the cyclotron lid. The drawback to that is the LEDs are now much closer. They are literally just behind the lens. So it's difficult to uh, get the diffused look that you're used to. So I have a little print. This is a prototype that I had made, uh, past prototype. So there is a little ring that was 3D printed in a clear filament, and that sits right on top of the lens, or on top of the ring, right behind the lenses. And then I also did the trick of adding two layers of parchment paper to help with the diffusion. So basically I've got several layers, and what that does is, one, I can't see the circuit board for the, for the ring, I can't see the individual pixels, which are basically white sitting on a um, green PCB. So I eliminate that look. So they do appear opaque uh, when, the, when the system is shut down. And yeah, the one drawback, which I'm getting to, is if we switch to the 1984 mode, you can kind of see it a lot better now. There is a hotspot basically where any pixels show through. So this could be your thing, or this could not be your thing. Uh, I know some people are very particular about how the LEDs show through. So if you don't like that, then you may not like this particular fix, but if you're okay with it, as I've come to accept it, um, then yeah, this is uh, completely doable. So Michael has adjusted the uh, software for his HasLab uh, retrofit on the circuit boards. So the Arduino in the pack now supports a 40 pixel ring light. 
all of the standard features still work. So if I disconnect the ribbon cable, we get the alarm, the LEDs still do their thing. We can change modes. So that still works. Reconnect that. Yep. Switch off and we'll go back to afterlife mode. And one more time, we'll do the startup. So there's the chase mode, go back into alarm, again, as you switch modes, it changes the colors immediately, distinctly red, blue, green, amber, so let's get rid of that beeping, okay. So that's what that looks like with the different video game modes. Let's take the bumper off here. All right, so inside, you're not gonna see the change. Always this one, close. You're not gonna see the change immediately. Um, there's the inner cyclotron spinning. But if you take a look here, um, there's basically two layers. You can see there's an inner and an outer layer. So the lid is in two halves. It is attached. Uh, there's a screw boss, uh, six of them actually mounted right in these spots so if you start just to the left and right of the end filter and then work your way around relatively evenly spaced are the other four uh, if you pry this up using a screwdriver you can break the glue that is at each of those spots and you can split this thing apart and so all i did was i put the ring light um, oriented it right on top of the old uh, the old lenses and I set it up so that each one uh, shows three pixels in between each one of these little round uh, covers and you can see there's a bit of a there's a little registration mark so there should be one pixel at the top dead center and if you line that up correctly, basically the rest of them should uh, line up. So the first LED uh, is in the top right. That's where, basically you know that's the first one because that's where all the wires connect to the uh, ring light. And then it continues uh, clockwise from there. So that's it. So that's the latest change to the Proton Pack, the software uh, behind it and now the ability to change the colors uh, based on the video game mode.